All right, let's finish up this point, this obsidian point here. It's a nice big long one. It's got some work that needs to be done on here. I'm sure the camera's picking it up to bring it to good symmetry, but it's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice long one. Hopefully we can keep it that way. Just minor adjustments at this point. Try not to put too much pressure in that that groove there, you know, that groove in the middle of the pad, because that will that will break the point. Just kind of enough to keep it in place. Although that point's kind of thick, it might. It might need to come off. We'll see. I want to get a nice even shape. We're not sharpening it, let's sharpen it another time. So I'm just going to take a quick run down this edge, just kind of finishing it. Maybe taking away a little bit of the zigzag, you can do that. You can wait till you sharpen it. Or you can do it as you're finishing it. Doesn't really matter. I typically don't. I typically take that uh, zigzag out when I sharpen them, but I think today, I don't know, I just feel like flattening out this edge. At least a little bit. And we'll put some notches in this, I think. Yeah, I might have to shorten this just a little bit because it does kind of favor one side. Like it wants to be a knife, but I'm not going to let this one be a knife. And there we go. Just 
just pecking little tiny pieces off at this point. Because as I'm shaping, I'm sharpening. Well, kind of like, I guess, pre-sharpening would be a better way to put it. So we've cleaned this up quite a bit. And I think we're ready to grind to put some notches in there. In fact, I think I'm going to skip the grinding on the tip just because I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I may just continue to sharpen that. So now we need to decide, what do we want? Do we want side notches, corner notches, base notches? Do we want a stem? And then of course, the million dollar question is, <laughs> do we have a choice? Maybe this is just going to give us what it wants. I'm thinking, with this, I would normally do side notches, but I'm thinking I'd like to do some corner notches. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to try and blast some notches up this direction. Alright, so up here and up here. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to start literally right at that corner of that ear. Keep it in mind my angles. I want to make sure as I have it on my pad that the angle of the flake for that notch is going the right direction. Sometimes you can get notches that go like different directions on the other side and that's because you're not paying attention to your angle. Alright, I'm going to flip it. i got a little itty bitty baby notch. But I'm gonna flip it so if it stalls, at least they're all the same. Try and find my best spot to start this endeavor. Try and keep that flake of. Uh, <coughs> excuse me in the uh, groove of the pad. Sometimes it's a little difficult, but it is optimal. All right, that looks a little deeper, so I'm gonna switch back to the other side. I'm not using very good form. I'm kind of all over the place. I should be stuck to my leg here a little bit more, but. Just flipping it back and forth, I'm trying to keep everything as even as I can. Like I said, so if these notches stall, at least they stall in somewhat of a symmetrical pattern. Another thing that I found personally is when working the, on the pad, sometimes it's, it's, it's real natural to want to go straight in, even though you're trying to get those angles. So lining it up on the pad can be a little bit tricky. But um, if you just pay attention, it can be done. All right, let's 
go a little bit deeper on this one. I think we are going to call this done. Yep. We got some pretty decent symmetry. Could it be fine tuned? Of course it could. But that's where we are. On the stone, so you can see a little bit more contrast. Those are grooves, or I mean, <laughs> the um, notches. I'm a little excited. We can always sharpen this up a little bit more if we want to. I'd say the notches are pretty acceptable. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This is what we have. All right, until next time, everybody stay safe, stay healthy, be kind, love each other. Find someone today that you can tell that you love them, and uh, I'll see you next time.